ब्रो ही इज ओनली टॉल बिकॉज इज पेरेंट्स आर टॉल इट्स ऑल इन इज जीन्स अरे ब्रो एलेक्स का कलर ब्राउन है क्योंकि उसके माँ का भी कलर ब्राउन था ये सब उनके जीन्स में होता है अरे भाऊ त्याचे डोळे निळे आहेत कारण की त्याच्या आईचे डोळे पण निळे आहेत हे सगळे जीन्स मध्ये असत रे इट्स ऑल इन इज जीन्स हे सब उनके जीन्स मे होता हे सगळे जीन्स मध्ये असत रे हॅव यू नोटिस दॅट यू लुक अ लॉट लाईक युअर पेरेंट्स you may have some traits like your mother some exactly like your father and some completely different and unique to you do you know why this happens well the short answer to this is because of the genes you carry well today we won't focus on the question why but we'll understand how does this happen if we consider dna as a string of alphabets then gene is that part of the string which has some meaning or makes some kind of sense in this example the sequence cat and mouse have some meaning thus they can be termed as genes now that we know what a gene is we'll understand its function in easy terms the function of a gene is to instruct the cell to make a protein Proteins are very essential molecules for life and they play a wide variety of roles in the human body. For example, the antibodies that offer you protection, it's a protein. The hemoglobin that supplies oxygen to all the parts of your body, it's a protein. To understand this in a simple way, consider a gene cat and it carries information to make the protein cat and protein cat is made from 3 amino acids. head body and the tail so the function of the gene cat would be to tell the cell what amino acids have to be added in what order to make the final functional protein now you must be wondering how do genes instruct the cell to make a protein well genes do not convey this information by themselves and that's why a special molecule called rna polymerase comes into the picture What this molecule does is it comes to the gene copies the code to make the protein and makes a different molecule called mRNA. Yes, the same mRNA that has been in the news in the past 18 months and is part of a technology of a vaccine coming from the west. This mRNA has a role of a postman or a courier boy. What it does is it takes the information from the gene and hands it over to the protein factories of the cell called the ribosomes. and that's why the m in the mrna stands for messenger now having received the information from the mrna the protein factories or ribosomes manufacture the protein according to the code now you might ask me parth how is this relevant to the title of the video in the next few minutes you will understand why i gave you this background information Like I had told in a previous video we receive one set of DNA from a mother and one set of DNA from a father that means for every gene we would have two copies let's understand this with an example of the gene cat here you see that you receive one copy of gene cat from your father and one copy of gene cat from your mother these two copies are called alleles Now you must understand that the father's allele may or may not be completely identical to the mother's allele. What that means is the proteins produced from these alleles may be slightly different. For example, the father's allele makes a cat which is brown in color and mother's allele makes a cat which is white in color. They both are cats and will function as cats but are slightly different from each other. Now suppose the brown cat is more efficient in its activities than the white cat. that would make it more dominant and would mask the activities done by the white cat that means the father's allele for the gene cat is more dominant over the mother's allele another way to understand this is if you eat a pani puri in pune and your friend eats a pani puri in varanasi both these dishes will be called pani puri but they will be slightly different maybe one might be spicier than the other in this scenario the gene is pani puri and the alleles are the pune variant and the varanasi variant now if pune's pani puri is spicier it would be dominant and will mask the effect of the varanasi's pani puri now let's understand how genes work to exhibit traits 
there will be some traits that depend on just one gene whereas there will be traits that depend on several other genes let's look at the example for the trait lip shape as you can see here the trait depends on just one gene if the mother's allele for this gene is dominant over your father's allele you will have a lip shaped like your mom same thing could happen for another trait maybe nose pointiness if father's allele for this gene is more dominant than your mother's allele then you would have a nose shape like your dad now let's look at a trait that depends on activity of several genes the example that i could give you is skin color in this case the genes won't be completely dominant or recessive over one another in fact the product of these genes will be combined and added to give you a unique feature of course this unique feature won't be seen in either of your parents disclaimer i used the examples of lip shape and nose pointiness just to make you understand the concept in reality most traits for physical appearance depend on many genes so does everything depend on genes the answer is no there are some traits that not just depend on genes but also on the environmental inputs suppose both your parents are tall that means genetically you are supposed to be a tall person but if you had a poor nutrition during your childhood that would easily hamper your ability to grow taller now you know why you resemble your parents in some ways or in some features and as far as your unique features are concerned those might be because of an environmental input on your genes or just a weird combination of your parents genes i hope you liked today's video and learned something new about genetics it would mean a lot to me if you like this video share it with your family and friends and subscribe to our channel until next video bye bye wait 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 before you go i want you to answer two of my questions the first one is do you think we would ever have a look alike or a doppelganger and the second one is consider a set of identical twins one was raised in india whereas other one was raised in the us do you think there would be a difference between them if yes what would be the difference comment down below on what you think